I've seen all of season three. I just want to say congrats and thank you for making me laugh. Oh, oh right. thank you. Um, do you find now that uh, Rob is in a better mood when Wrexham is doing better? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. As, 100%. As someone in the writer's room, so even before, you could tell the effect Wrexham was having, okay? That's his, that's his adopted children. 100%. I've also enjoyed that show, uh, Welcome to Wrexham, but that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> yeah. um, I, a bunch of questions about season th three, uh, but Danny, I, I got to start with you just because I'm a big fan of community. Just want to get it out of the way. Uh, what was it like reading the script for the first time for the movie? And have you started filming? Are you filming soon? I don't actually know. In my mind, reading the script is is wonderful. We have, There's no script yet. <laughs> But in Got my it. mind, I played through the scenarios and it's hilarious from the jump, the twists and turns, and it's a cathartic, satisfying conclusion. <laughs> um, no, but we've had a lot of meetings. We've had um, some discussions about the story. And it all sounds really exciting. We're really pumped. Um, we're kind of in the early stages of it right now, but um, everyone is pumped. I mean, it's, it's truly the, the prophecy coming true is... Uh, we owe it to the fans for believing it for this long. <laughs> and um, I mean, we're excited because it's just, it would be nice to just have this reunion again and to see where all these characters are at 10 years out from Greendale. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm I'm very thankful that it's fine. It's actually happening. Jumping into why I get to talk to the two of you. Yeah. Uh, I've seen all of season three, but I don't know what you guys are prepared to say about it. So what do you want to tease fans in terms of what they can look forward to? I think that in season three, you are seeing new alliances. You're seeing people grappling with their power. Mm. Carol mm. trying her best mm. to make it work. Mm -hmm. She has what she thinks she wants, Steve. But these people are crazy. <laughs> and so how do you manage those two, I would say? That's, that's my, little, my little, little tease. That's right. Um, you have to work with some people sometimes that you don't want to work with. But truly they will help you get to that place of success. But what is success? I think this season is a lot of characters grappling with achievement. They've achieved uh, certain things or they're reevaluating where they're at in their life and trying to figure out what they want to achieve. And I think that's kind of the fun thing about all the characters this year, it's third season, we know who we are um, and we have a little time to grow. And I think our show is kind of, dives into the characters a little bit. It's a little bit more of like character dives into each each person um, really thinking about their wants. What do they want this year? And truly, is that the real want? Um, oh, yes. Is that the, the real thing that they should be pursuing? I think that's kind of exciting to see these people, this really dysfunctional family, realizing they actually need each other. And Brad's a janitor. And I'm a janitor. Yes, I, I have so many things to say about that. But um, who wants to explain what a hoodie is? Oh, hey, a hoodie is a head of diversity and inclusion. And you gotta make it fun. You can't be saying these whole titles the whole no, time. You no, gotta get no, a little, no, you know? No, no. I remember last year, Brad at one time said, uh, you know, the POS. And then I remember reading it being like, what is POS? And then I was like, oh, he doesn't even say piece of shit anymore. He doesn't even, he doesn't have time to say that anymore. <laughs> Brad is so efficient that he's like, you're wasting time right. going through all these titles, saying all these things. Break it down. Make it an acronym. Get through it. Let's get the money. Let's go. I wasn't sure, obviously, where the season was going to go when when Brad um, gets released from jail. This is obviously not a, a he obviously gets released from jail. So <laughs> what is it like sort of playing Brad where you're not sure if he's good or bad? Because when you when I'm watching your face, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out, is he going to be good? Is he going to be bad? Mm -hmm. And it could go both ways. Yes, that's the dance. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is sometimes I don't know. And that's fun because it's a fun game for me as an actor to play. How much do I want to reveal here? How much do I not want to? Where's the, and honestly, where's the camera? In some of these larger group scenes, I'll be thinking about Brad's place within the group and the camera and wondering if anyone within uh, Brad's orbit is going to see his reaction to this moment in a group setting. Um, that's a fun dance for me because I think Brad is this schemer. He's kind of looking at things from a macro level, but you don't know if he's reformed and you don't know his true intentions. And honestly, sometimes I don't either. Um, but I do know what he's driven by. And I do know that, um, there is always a game afoot 
with Brad. And so that's the fun dance is to see what the game is right now. What are the opportunities for Brad to manipulate someone or situation uh, and let that sort of inform my acting choices. At Comic-Con, Megan mentioned to me that she knows the ultimate series ending, what's actually oh. going to happen at the very end. Oh. And, I'm, and I'm curious if uh, if she's told either of you. Oh, no. My God. No. Steve, do you have information? Did she tell you what it is or she yeah. just said she knows? What's funny is I think she obviously knows. I uh, don't want to know as a fan. I want to uh, get yeah. there, you know, naturally. I'm, I'm just the same curious. Way. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want to know that. I, I like to discover things kind of in the I would like to know a little bit more about Brad's backstory. I think that would be interesting for me to know a little bit more about. I have questions about who hurt him. <laughs> because that seems like the more and more I, I, I get to play this character, you know, that's the joy of being able to come back for a third season is you get to really dive deeper into things and you revisit certain scenes and certain dynamics, but it just brings up different levels and different questions. And so for me, the questions are more about Brad's past. <laughs> um, uh, but to me, he's becoming even more and more human. But I don't want to know the end because I, I like to be surprised. What was for both of you? What was your reaction when you saw the set for Grimm Studios? Because it's real nice. And I'm just curious if what because the production design really went for it. Yes, it was. It really felt, you know, stepping onto that set felt like going into a portal to another world. Like I was like, oh, this is probably what Ian's brain looks like. Yeah. Right. Like that's his mind palace. And it has that <laughs> feel to it. And like when you like go in there and even just the space, you know, um, logistically, you know, you had to cover your feet. Like, you know, yeah, we're, we have keep, booties. Yeah. Like keep it. Cr like when you walk into Grim Pop, there are different rules. Are and rules. that feels um, that felt right. That yeah. felt right. For the it's going into like a fancy open house. Where are your booties? You know, uh -huh. walk through. Here's the floor plan. Um, it was just really cool. It was just amazing to see what our, I mean, just our incredible like set deck, construction, art deck, like what they do and how they're able to just make this this world exist. Um, I don't know. It was just, it's, it's really impressive. It, and it was fun to kind of play. Even though we're third season, it felt nice to have like a new sort of environment to, um, you know, to mine for comedy. Yeah. On that note, I got to stop. I'm just going to say I'm already looking forward to season four. Thank you so much for your time and good luck with the rest of your speed dating. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> have a good day. See you. Later.